Rolling. All right. Rolling, 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 rolling. That's song, right? That's a rolling, song. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rawhide. No, roll out the barrel. Roll out the barrel. There's a lot of good rolling songs roll out songs there. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> roll call. He must be rolling right now. We're, we're going today. to. We're doing roll call. Three, two. Welcome to Milk on Tap, Fireman Jim, along with Van the Milkman McNeil for our second episode, a very special episode. Look who's here. Coach! Coach Manager Anthony Barone returns. How you doing, Coach? Good, how you guys doing? Oh, good, good. Great, great to be good. back. How excited are you for the season? Uh, really excited, uh, just getting ready to, you know, get the guys in here on the 20th and <laughs> yes. start training camp on the 25th. We, yeah. we saw you in the war room earlier this week uh, with the draft. How'd that go? You know, we did a good job with our coaching staff helping out, so it was a really it was a group effort, and uh, I thought we made some really good picks. So let's explain that to, to everybody that American Association is usually 12 teams. This year we're down to six teams, three hub cities, a Milkman Stadium hosting the Milwaukee Milkman and the Chicago Dogs. So the remaining six teams we were able to draft from, and Coach Barone was uh, in earlier this week with the draft in the war room, like Van mm -hmm. said, and made some very nice picks. Yeah, we got uh, Chase Simpson first overall from Cleburne, uh, All-Star Game MVP last year. In my mind, probably the MVP of the league. Mm. Uh, switch hitting third baseman. Nice. Second pick, we got Zach Nerrier from Cleburne as well. Um, he was rated um, number one in the league with wins above replacement, as meaning analytically he was the best player in the right. league last year, um, defensively and offensively. He's an outfielder. Third pick, we got a guy we really like, Dylan Tice from Kansas City. Mm -hmm. uh, second baseman, third baseman. Uh, he's hit 300 in this league two years in a row and really um, an on-base machine. Dylan Baker, fourth pick, starting pitcher from Kansas City. Sure. Righty, really good year last year. Um, he, he was actually on the Brewers 40-man roster a couple years back. Then we went uh, A.J. Shugel from Kansas City, uh, pitching the big leagues for three years with the Pirates, so okay. really strong bullpen arm. And then our last pick was Jack Alkire, right-handed pitcher from the Gary Railcats. Young arm, really good stuff, had a good year last year. So. We thought we got our team a lot better yesterday, and oh, sure. ready. We're gonna have to be ready to compete because <laughs> six teams and they're really good. So right, um, right. you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. To to getting the green light, which was what about a couple of weeks ago yeah, now, yeah. and it's been how how much of a whirlwind has this been for yeah, you? Yeah, you know, um, you go through all off season, can't you know not not understanding like what's going on from March until now, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you just like for me being in New York, I was just sitting in my house and. <laughs> every day wondering what's going to happen right. and um, you know you analyze everything from the virus from you know everything going on and you know you just you know this is what we love to do and right. um, you know it's our profession but we love it and um, right. you know it's, it's just so you know I, and I'm happy for our players that they get to do this and um, that's really the, the biggest thing is getting your letting your players be on a platform to, right. to showcase their talents. Um, in front of, you know, hopefully a lot of affiliated teams will be watching this mm -hmm. year. They will so, be. Yeah. yeah. yeah they the, will be. Now, I know you're still working on the roster. There's yeah. a lot of things to be, to be finalized, but obviously, you know, are a lot of a few of the returning players from last season are going to be coming back to play? Yeah. Um, you know, we got the Angel Ventura, probably one of the best arms in the league, yeah. coming back. Miles Smith, our closer. Adam Walker. Um, you know, Zach Hartman. I could go on. Okay. We have, we have, we have a lot. You know, we have, we have about a you know, a third, I would say seven guys coming back from last year. And, awesome. um, okay. Yeah. But, but we did, we revamped some things and um, obviously with the draft, um, changed some things. So right. everything's a fluid situation. It is. And right. It really is. Right. And the level of talent in this league has definitely gone up. It, it yeah. just has because we're down to 16, but it's kind of like almost an all star team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. players. Yeah. And with what's going on with minor league baseball and major league baseball, you might be able to pull some players that weren't drafted out of there possibly. Right. Yeah. You know, I know um, it's unfortunate the MLB and the, um, you know, the, the the union and the owners haven't yeah. come to an agreement yet. So, unfortunately, there's no MLB right now, but right. Uh, there's this. Yeah. This is top the, there's, yeah. there's this. this. Really we lead the way. Yeah, we if you're lead a hardcore the way. baseball fan, I mean, this is the place to be. And if you're a casual fan, we still have the entertainment of the minor league uh, right. feel to it and Van and I out there and, mm -hmm. and games for the kids. A fun family experience. Right. Uh, and the caliber of play, as you were saying, Jim, top notch. Really, what What's yeah. the... What's the team mentality going to be? Um, it's a sprint, you know, six teams going for a championship. Right. And what's cool is we have fans. Um, right. You know, what other league can say that they're having fans right That's now? True. Yeah, and, and That's true. And as we, we talked about in our last episode, 
you know, this stadium holds 4,000, but opening things up, we have limited capacity. We're down yep. to 35%, which is between one and 1,500 yeah, just, people. just over 1,000. So it's going to be a hot ticket, and this, I mean, being in July 3rd. And tickets go on sale pretty much at the end of this week. Yeah, you're going to want to stay tuned into the website. There we have the schedule, all the different hubs, everything the American Association has laid out. Right. And, and we are happy to be one of those hubs. We really are. We really are. And, you know, spring training starting next week. It's really a, a, a limited spring training, so you got yeah. like 10 days to get these guys, yeah. you know, acclimated <laughs> yeah. and ready to rock. Yeah, it's, you know, and, and, and the other thing I want to like just focus on is the safety that we're going to take. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know the owners, um, our, our commissioner jo uh, Josh Ob and, and Josh Buckholz, they've worked really hard to get this plan in place. And Mike Zimmerman, our owner, I mean, we're really grateful that we that we've been able to do this. Right. And um, you know, and I think the fans will notice the plan we have in place, how mm -hmm. safe it is, mm -hmm. and our, keeping our players safe and our staff. So that's that's the most important thing. Right. Baseball is. is important, but. We're going to make sure, like, we're going to have a great environment, great baseball, oh, yeah. but we're going to be safe about it. Right. Because so. we're doing it for the love of the game. For the and love and of the that's game. our mantra. It really it's for is the love of the game. That's why we're here. That's it why is. we're bringing it back. It is. It is. So, Coach, thanks for joining yeah. us. We're going to see yeah. you here throughout the season. We're going to yeah. be here for spring training and filming. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Have you, have you seen the clubhouse? Like, we kind of left it in a disaster last year. Like, yeah, before he gets in there. I know. I know. So, all right. <laughs> uh, touch on the socials once again to follow us. On the gram, on the Twitter, on the Facebook. Um, what else, Megan? Megan knows Megan. everything. She's Snap our producer. Snapchat. Snapchat, yeah. So there you go, Snapchat. So uh, we'll have more information to come. This is, again, things are breaking all the time, so follow us here. And thanks again for joining us for another edition of Milk on Tap. We'll see you at the ballpark. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Hit him up, bro. Hi. Let him out. Let him in. Let him in. Let him in.